Hey, what is up guys? Kita Rock here. Welcome back to another Zenless Zone Zero video. Alright, so very very important. I hope I'm not too late in doing this uh, video, but I hope you guys haven't done your weekly bosses. Do not do your weekly bosses yet. Alright, I'm going to teach you guys how to best spend your stamina. Alright, but why am I talking about weekly bosses? What What is so important about this? So the weekly boss uh, can be unlocked later on. Alright, you can't unlock it right here. But if you press uh, on PC, you press F2 and you go to the challenge, it's called the Notorious Hunt. So you can do weekly boss three times per, per week. Alright, but you shouldn't do it yet for the time being. This particular week, uh, right now is Monday as of me recording this video. So uh, if it's Monday, at least early on, alright? This applies to us early on right now in the game. You don't want to do your weekly bosses yet because as you unlock more, you can see right here. Uh, let me just turn off my face cam. Right now, I can fight a level 40 weekly boss. So level 30 and level 40 is going to give me more of this material, right? Uh, I hope you guys can see uh, more of this thing. All right, and then level 50 later on, it will give you even more as well. So uh, this there's a chance that you will be able to reach Elite Proxy, which is level 40 by the end of this week, right? So we still got seven days left. Uh, I'm now rank 32, all right, I'm proxy, my internet level 32. So there's a chance that you can reach there. If you can't, then no worries, just do it on Sunday, all right? There's, you, you're not losing anything. So ideally, I would say just wait a little bit, all right? Because there's a chance that a lot of players are going to do this mistake because due to how the nature of a uh, weekly boss in this game doesn't require stamina. So I feel like a lot of players are going to just rush it and oh, it doesn't require stamina, so let me just do it first or on Monday. But ideally, early on, you don't want to do that right now. So wait a little bit, wait until Sunday. If you reach rank uh, 40 or level 40, you're basically unlocking the next tier, which is going to give you more rewards. Now let's talk about these drives, which is the artifacts or relics equivalent of this game. So these drives can be farmed right here uh, by... Roland, all right, so it's next to the weekly boss. When you talk to Roland, you can do this cleanup. Routine cleanup is where you farm these drives. Now, I do not recommend, at least for now, for anyone to farm these drives yet because you're not able to unlock the S rank one. You can only get the A rank one. So once you go to level 40 or internet level 35 rather, right, that's when you can do the level 40 one. Level 40 is when you will start getting the S rank disk drives as opposed to the A rank. And that's going to be what is going to be much more useful for you uh, late game. So this one is like, if you farm this now, you're going to get this for now and sure you can use this for the time being, but eventually you're just going to toss this away and then you're going to like farm the S rank eventually because those are going to go up too. So what's the difference is, uh, let me see if I can show you guys. The main difference is going to be in the stats, all right? So if you guys are not aware how this thing works, for these drives, the A rank this can only go to a max level of 12. The S rank this, the orange one, will be able to go up to um, level 15. So that means it's going to give you more stats in general. All right. So that therefore, that's the one that you want to wait for. If you can push all the way uh, to internet 35 before you start farming these drives. Don't farm these drives just yet. Now, with that being said, the idea here, at least early on, before 35. All right. Before 35, you want to be focusing on pushing your levels and your ascension. All right. Ascension is going to be this thing. So if you have any DPS characters, they are not yet at level 40, you want to push this first, all right? Try and get this. Uh, once you have reached level 40, then focus on your other characters because these are going to be equally as important. For example, I have NB right here. I can start working on her and try to get uh, this particular one. So this is going to be the important ones that you want to push a little bit towards, all right? So definitely this is going to be where you want to use the stamina early on, before 35. All right, one more thing is also going to be the skills. All right, very obvious. So this thing makes a lot of sense. You can basically try to upgrade the skill by farming some of these skill materials. By the way, NB is a very, very good character. If you guys are looking to invest a decent free-to-play stun character, uh, NB is probably going to be the best one out of all the ones that you get early on between uh, NB, Nicole, and Sokaku is also pretty good. Yeah, not gonna lie. Sokaku is probably one of the better uh, support as well. So NB and Sokaku, if you guys want to invest, I think these two is considered considerably safe uh, for the, based on my experience in closed beta tests, definitely these two will be able to push you forward in the meta. So do consider that. So definitely the character ascension and the character uh, skill 
And also, obviously, the equipment for this W engine, the ascension for them, right? So if you're trying to enhance your W engine or your weapon in this case, you also need to push the level a little bit. This is going to use the reinforced attack component. Now, once you have gotten the ascension, the levels, and then also the uh, the W engine and the skills, once you have pushed this, you have to push your main DPS, all right? So the priority should be going to your main DPS. Uh, in my case, Ellen Joe, uh, if you guys have like someone like Nekomata, for example, or Soldier 11, those should be the priority, obviously, right? Because uh, they need to be able to do more damage than your support characters. Now, once you have done that, by then you should be able to reach 35. Now, if not, there's also one more thing that you can try to push a little bit. All right, which is going to be uh, this particular one. This is going to be the core skill enhancement. Now, this one can be a little bit expensive to do early on as well. I do recommend you to wait a little bit. Uh, at least these two nodes, maybe you can do early on. All right, so this one you can basically farm right here in the expert challenge. All right, so expert challenge is where you can get all of these materials. And this material is going to be the one that you can get from weekly boss. Now, if you go right here, all right, let me bring to the expert challenge. Again, you can basically observe right here. If you are level 25, it gives you two of these, right? If you wait to level 35, it gives you three of these. Now, if you can wait a little bit to Elite Proxy, which is around level 40, uh, ideally, that's the one, that's how you want to push uh, towards, wait a little bit. So focus on everything else, and this one is going to be something that you want to focus on later on. Now, if you want to get the first three nodes, I would do that, all right? So because especially for your DPS characters, uh, it does, I would push the first three, all right? The fourth one, maybe it's not worth it to push for now. What do I mean by the first three? The A, the B, and the C, all right? I would do up to this one. I wouldn't do the the D onwards. I wouldn't farm. Like at this point, this one is going to need too much. You are better off waiting for later on because up to the C, you're going to get the crit rate 4.8%. So the if you guys are not aware, this first node, the A, C, and E, is both going is all going to give you an uh, additional crit rate increase so that's going to be extremely beneficial for your stats overall right stats boost uh, but this one at this point you're going to need nine that one is a little bit too much uh, i wouldn't waste too much stamina there so you gotta you know split your resources a little bit better for that also make sure you guys are aware that every time you come to the coffee shop you can basically get 60 stamina so this is locked to once per day but you can choose which one you want to farm and which one is going to give you the bonus drop 100 percent for 20 stamina usage so make sure you guys take advantage of that all right so to summarize everything that i mentioned in this video in case it's a bit confusing uh, because i do jump all over the place weekly boss wait until sunday all right so that you get the most benefit because if you push the next internal level ascension or something, uh, you get more rewards. Now drive disc or the relics, the artifacts for this game, I would highly recommend to wait until internal 35 because that's where you will be able to get the yellow or the orange ones. This is how it's going to look like, right? It has the yellow background. So those are going to be the S rank ones. And then of course, right now before internal 35, you can't farm the disc drives yet. Focus on promotion, skills, and getting your W engine up Focus on the DPS characters first, obviously. Uh, that's going to be the main important one. Now for the core skills, you know, you want, you can get up to C, but I wouldn't push further. So that's going to be pretty much how you want to spend your stamina early on. Now, if things change, I will update this with another video for you guys, but that's how at least up until around 40, you want to be paying attention to this. So yeah, with that being said, that is going to be pretty much this particular video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. Give this video a like and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.